Well, it's Trina with Aunt T's Corner. I am coming to you with another book review. This one is called The Battle for Scandia. It's book four of The Ranger's Apprentice, which is by author John Flanagan. Um, as always, the age range is 10 and up. It's based on readability, not content. Although with the readability, um, it does have a lot of educational, you know, there's sailing terms, there's, you know, stuff like that. Um, so just be aware of that. It's very good to read. Um, it's one of my favorite series. That's why I'm starting with it. Um, but because it is not based on content, that's what I really focus on when I do overviews. So just to let you know a few factors, there is language, um, as I said in book three, the Scandians are considered sea pirates or um, mercenaries. So, you know, they have their fluency is, you know, their language is very fluent with the proverbial <laughs> French words. Um, but we have like damned, curse, hell, by the gods, profanity, horse riding devils. So those are the words that you will see in there. And if you ever want to see the pages that they are on to cover whatever one you want up, um, it is on my Facebook page as a post. So other factors, um, you will find that the Temuje, which are the villains this time around, uh, they have concubines and multiple wives. It's only mentioned once. The general is seen eating food and um his concubine is a good cook so that's why he brought her on this expedition instead of his three wives that's the only thing that it says about the whole ordeal um there's a kiss it's just a thank you kiss on the cheek between evanlyn which is a princess and halt um and we see will um experiencing a little bit of jealousy between horace and evanlyn's relationship and time spent together um, and as always there's death um, whenever there's a battle there's always death it's not you know glamorous um, but uh, death by arrows for the most part horse death by um, the embankments having you know uh, logs and stuff sharpened to a point and then the horse is charging into it and impaling themselves and screaming in pain so that was a little harder to read than soldier deaths for me because you can just imagine the screaming of pain um on the with horses and I have a horse so it just makes it even harder for me so um so as always with the overview if you uh plan on reading it skip this part because there's spoilers involved but it starts out Will is three weeks um since he's awoken from his addictive haze um and he's still very weak um Evanlyn still does the hunting and everything so that he can conserve his energy because it's almost springtime and they have to travel to get out of Scandia so as she is out she gets captured by the Tamage um and Will goes after her and while he's going after her Halt and Horace find the Tamage um, had killed the border patrol at Serpent's Pass between Tutland and Scandia. And so they follow the group that comes through to Scandia to see what's going on. Um, and just to know what's going to be at their backs when they go to House Shalom to get Will and Evanlyn. Um, and they run into Will and Evanlyn, so there's that. Um, and... So the band's back together, Halt, the two apprentices, the princess are all together um, and they start heading back toward the border and Iraq, the guy who captured Will in the first place with Evanlyn, um, captures them again and believes that Halt is the one that killed the border patrol, come to find out. And he starts to understand that Halt didn't do it, it was the Temuge, um, so they're temporary allies. Um, they find out that there's an army on the border and they're about to infiltrate Scandia. So Iraq, understanding that, you know, Scandia doesn't have tacticians, they need the Rangers. So he talks the Scandian king into letting Holt help. Um, 
things happen. You know, there's always subterfuge and um, treachery involved. And that we see an old character, Slager, um, the captain from Cape Shelter in book three, um, is in line with the Tamuje and all allied with them. Uh, so they... He tells the king that Evelyn is actually Princess Cassandra and the Valis Val is, you know, a parent. So the Scandian king thinks he has to kill her right then and there. A rock stands up and protects her because he swore they would be safe. Um, and he stands by his word. So, um, they put, Halt talks him into waiting until after the battle is done. They try and figure out a way to win the battle and Will and Horace are in charge of two different sets of men. Will in charge of um, slaved, enslaved men who are archers and Horace um, with shield bearers to protect the archers. And uh, they are fighting against the Ulan, which are the Temuje units of 60 who are archers. They have sabers that they fight with and lances and they have a group one assigned to each ulan is a kaijin which a kaijin is a sharpshooter who has like a red insignia and that's the only way you know they're a sharpshooter so the battle starts the battle is intense chapter 32 through 38 is the battle um well 238 i should say um, the battle's over. The Scandian king died in the highest honor. He was a berserker and died in battle, which they thought is the highest form of honor to die. And um, you go into the highest level of heaven if you die like that. So they, you know, they have to assign a new Oberjarl, which is their king, and Iraq is assigned to that position. So they create a defensive treaty between Aralúin and Scandia, and uh, when they, Arak takes them all home, and when they get there, they're greeted by the king, and he, you know the two kings meet, and it's great, it's awesome, because uh, you come to love Arak. Um, but as they do that, um, Horus, who has been going around as the oak leaf knight but he's really an apprentice the king says we have to rectify this so he is knighted with an oak leaf insignia and because he can't you know tell will hey you are a full-fledged ranger and do the same thing as an honor to him he offers him a position as a royal scout which is in charge of the army's um archers and does the scouting for the army and Will declines and says, my place is with the rangers and I'll stay as an apprentice. And that upsets Evelyn, who really talked her father into giving him that position or offering that position because she wants Will to stay at the castle and in court with her and he's not about it. So that is the book review. We're going into book five, which is the Sorcerer of the North. Um, there's no magic in this book series, but that is the next book's title and we will have to stay tuned to see what happens next. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.